Hi everyone, this is Bo Peng. Thank you for watching this video. This video is the episode 2 to demonstrate how to use the AppCurs Swift Comp GUI. In the last episode, I have introduced how to install the AppCurs Swift Comp GUI and how to conduct a multi-scale analysis using the GUI by an example of an interlock woven composite plate. In that example, the structure genome is a 3D. During this episode, I will introduce how to construct a 2D structure genome, either common structure genome or customized structure genome. The first example is a square pack microstructure. Look at this laminated block. It can be treated as repeating this 2D SG in the X, Y, and the Z directions. Therefore, we can analyze the original problem by dealing with a homogeneous 3D block, of which the homogeneous material properties are obtained from this 2D SG. Now, let's do it in APCUS. First, we need to create the material properties needed in the 2D SG. Let me import the materials I have already created. Okay, now let's click this button, create 2D common SG. Here we can import the volume fraction of the fiber because there is no interface in the required example, we will see it as zero. And the fiber material is net fiber matrix is net matrix. Because there is no interface, we just keep it as default. And uh, the approximate global mesh size, we can change it to another value and the element type can be linear or quadratic. Click OK. Now the SG is prepared. Let's go to homogenization. The created part name is SQRP2 here. Let's keep the Swift comp file name to be default and the volume is uh, uh, default because it is a rectangle. And because we want to obtain the macro model uh, to be 3D model, and we want to get the material properties, we select the 3D solid here, and the analysis type is elastic. The others are keep default. Click OK. OK, now we have obtained the effective material properties and also the engineering constants because this material can be approximated as isotropic. If we want to use the material properties in a macroscopic 3D model, we can choose the SG here and click OK. This will create a new model here using the SG name and there are two materials are created. These two materials are obtained from the homogenization analysis. One is using the engineering constants and the other is using the 6 by 6 material properties. You may want to ask that if you want to create a customized 2D structure genome, how should we do? The first step is to use this button, Set Sketch Plan for 2D Customized Structure Genome. Click it. And here, we can specify the new part name, and then uh, specify the SG dimension to be 2D. Click OK. This will help us create a datum plan and a datum axis. Then, we can use them to create the shell part. The first step is to use this button, Create Shell Planner. And then we can follow the instructions shown here. 
first choose this datum plan and then choose this datum axis. Then we are able to create a 2D structure genome on YZ plan. Okay, suppose this is the 2D structure genome we want. And the next step, of course, is to create materials and uh, create sections and uh, assign sections. Now let's create a section of shell using homogeneous materials and uh, specify this value to be any value you want. Choose the material to be matte matrix and click OK. And now we assign this section. Okay. If we set it to be property default, we can see that a material property has been assigned to the geometry. And then we go to mesh. And uh, we mesh the part. Now the SG has been prepared. We can conduct the homogenization analysis. The part name is part 1. And we keep them as default and uh, click OK. Now we have the effective stiffness matrix of this 2D SG. In this episode, I have introduced how to construct a 2D structure genome, either common structure genome or customized structure genome. If you have any questions, please go to CDM Hub and post your questions there. Thank you very much.